I don't know. I do it, Mom. Okay. And then using this, mm -hmm. go out two inches all the way around the circle. Okay, so two inches there. Then you move this. And do mark two inches here. What is this? A project. <laughs> Now you're going to connect all your dots. Oh, yeah. Keep going, love okay. it. What's going to be so much fun? All right. So, what you are girls are going to pick out two colors. And we one? are going to be making lids for jar. Can I pick the out jar. The We're going to make two. Maybe we'll make three. Can I and pick out this the is color? for you guys to learn how to make sourdough. Ooh. But you need something to put on top of the jar to keep it um, clean so the little buggies don't get in there. Um, I okay, is there so, anything with fox on it? I don't think we have any fox. No See, this might be big enough, actually. I don't know what shape I like. Let's see, is this big yeah, this enough? Is this is what Chet used. Say, oh, yeah, um, it'll be close. It might work. I'm not sure okay, if I want to see what else we got in here. I don't know that I like okay. them all. And we don't want, we don't want this bubbly print. Just feel the texture mm -hmm. because that would But this um, is just like get, it. No, this one's smooth. See, this one's smooth and this one has bubbles on it. Feel the difference? Uh -huh. Okay, so those are a no-go. And we don't want felt. <laughs> yep. So it has to be cotton and we've got a couple different colors pinned together here. Blue daisies. Yes, 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 dresses are like that. Oh, where'd I get that from? Well, that's kind of pretty. It's almost exactly the size I need too. <laughs> Somebody else must have been getting that same idea. Okay. And then this batch here. Okay. Oh, I really like this. You like that one? Yes. And then we have a lighter pink. I think I like that one. If I'm still gonna look. And then it's a, a bummer you couldn't use this. Yeah, I wouldn't use it with a. Yeah. This is more like shirt, so making nice. a shirt out of it. In fact, I think Charity made a shirt out of this. Yeah, we've got red, and oh, those are pretty colors. Isn't that pretty? Cool. What else did you find? Choose. Well, you choose. This one's cowboy print. Cowboy? No. Nope. I kind of okay, like Mary, this one. you chose your color, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one are you doing? Okay, so Mary's gonna go for this color. I kind here. of like this one. And you like that one? Well, you can do whatever one you like. like whatever. So We've got a lot of different it. selections, so. Exactly. I still don't know. I like this one and this one. Oh. <laughs> It's a well, we start with one, and well, we could always make another one if, if you know, you like making these. You want to do the brown one? Okay, yeah, we can do that. Did you poke yourself? I did. That's what happens when you sew. You always poke yourself. Expect to be poked. Yeah. Okay, now just cut all the way around it. Crack all of it. Who knew oh you were gonna God. connect the dots for school, Mary? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is the easiest school I've ever done. Right? Hey, okay, it's all about learning. There's no numbers. Wow, that was really Thank you. You're doing too Hannah. Say thank you for the baby. Big yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, this. <laughs> gentle, Hannah. Gentle. Let's be gentle with the baby. Hannah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got to put them back on. Hannah, look. Yellow on yellow, purple oh. on purple, red on red, blue on blue. So you'll need to put that foot down, the presser foot down. Mm -hmm. Right on the edge there. Down. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then put your needle in first. There you go. 
and start sewing all the way around, but don't go all the way around. We need to leave inch, mm -hmm. about an inch and a half open. Lydia's just working on finishing hers up before she turns hers. Mm -hmm. And then I have this one that was kind of my sample. And I have some elastic that I'm going to start feeding in here. And I'm not sure how much I need, so I'm just gonna start running, running it around. And then I'll grab my jar and test it to see. How do you do that? How do I do what? Put the elastic on. I'm gonna go in through the little hole that I made. Watch. I'm gonna take this pin. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm gonna put it in the end. Oh, wait, I forgot a step. Whoops, that won't work. Ah, I forgot a step. I have to sew all the way around. So I've still got one more thing to do. Hannah, what is Mary doing? What is Mary doing? Is she sewing? Okay, so follow the second line all the way around. Go slow. Did you cut your 11 inches? Mm -hmm. Okay, so start in here and just feed it all the way around uh, the outside, okay? Okay, that's a Take a chump. Did you catch them? Oh, There's a couple more. Those look pretty stuck up there for a while. Yeah, maybe we can throw these up and get them. Yeah. Make us. Okay. To that, we need to add a half a cup of flour and a half a cup of cool water. Okay. So we are using the Josie Baker bread cookbook to do our sourdough. One of you guys sent this to me several years ago and his recipes are really good. And he just has basic how to make a sourdough starter. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Half cup of whole wheat flour, half cup of cool water. We're gonna mix it up and then let it sit for two days. Okay, here's a spoon for you. Is that a half cup? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we need a couple coolish water. We got an order from Hillcrest Foods. I haven't gotten that food put away yet, but ended up with 50 pounds of the Miller's Choice. That's like an all-purpose flour for a little over $12. The oats were 21, I think they were organic. This time 21 on um, distress list and then a bag of cornmeal. And just stir that up real good. And then on Wednesday, we will check it and feed it. There's a little dry spot right here. Okay, so we gotta get that. Two days, there it goes. Good job. We are cleaning. Hannah likes the ice cube tray. Hi, Hannah. <laughs> and the girls have been sewing. Mary, we actually need to pick up the flour though from the sourdough, okay? I don't think I'm quite at the point of doing a pantry challenge quite yet, but we're getting close. Yeah. We're getting really close. Just miscellaneous odds and ends. It's been a while since I've done a pantry challenge and just that's what we're dealing with right now. But I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna put that on the calendar for May, just because May is garden season. So not quite yet, but I am making a, going to be making a lot of odd foods. If you know a recipe of something to do with Campbell's French onion soup in a can, I have one. I need an idea for how to use that one because that one's kind of stumping me. We have a few things that accidentally lost their, uh, <laughs> lost their labels. I think some of these were compliments of Aunt Laura. I think, this one sounds like tomato sauce. Yeah. That, that one has a tomato-y sauce sound. This one. Hi. Oh, that might be tomato. Hmm. That one might be a tomato. It's thicker. It's not like green beans. Oh, and just a few other. Well, we'll use these. Just a handful of things that just need to get used up. So today, uh, since cleaning out the pantry yesterday, I thought, you know, I'm gonna make for lunch some of my black bean and corn salad. So I had found in the pantry a jar of roasted red peppers and then some already cooked black beans and some corn and I found green onions in the garden. So I'm just gonna whip something up and see how it comes out. And there it is, all done. One green onion, and then a can of corn, a can of black beans, and then I used maybe a third of, jar of a jar of the roasted red peppers. Added just some seasonings, garlic pepper, salt, and parsley, cumin, lime juice. 
and a little bit of oil. And that's it.